So the first thing we do is we open up our ECG file. Let me zoom in on a couple beats here. Go to the beginning of the file. Look at a couple heartbeats. I'm going to preset my measurements to time, delta time, and then I'm going to turn all of these off by choosing the first measurement. Let's go to the very beginning of the file. Put my cursor in the beginning. And I'm going to say uh, locate ECG complex boundaries found in the analysis menu. This will automatically label the different ECG components as events right onto the data. So let's scroll over here just a little bit. Let's look at just a couple couple cycles. And the next step is back to the analysis menu and go to find cycle. And instead of peaks, we're going to look at events because these are events right on the data. And the starting event is the QRS onset, which is found in hemodynamic ECG complex. It's QRS onset. I had these preset. And the ending event is uh, the T wave, which is also under hemodynamic ECG complexes, T wave peak. And it gives us an example here. And you can leave selection, fine, you go to output, and you can either uh, dump these measurements, the measurements that are up here, into the journal, or into a new graph, or into an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to choose the last one, Excel spreadsheet. And um, basically ready to run it. And I can select Find All Cycles. It will open up Excel, and it will, it will dump in all of those measurements, time and delta time, for every ECG cycle in the file. So here's our time. Here's our QT interval. Here's our time. Here's our QT, in, QT interval. So here's all of the data here. And that's how we extract QT intervals from ECG data.